Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 13 here on planet 26. Well, the sun's just going down, so uh, we're going to be working in the nighttime here. But most of it's going to be uh, probably off camera anyway. So, uh, last episode, we managed to get uh, our. Uh, assemblers going set up and so we've come up here I still got to build the building out around it but we have two assemblers in place here right here I got a third one ready to be built I just didn't want to waste the materials on it yet uh, until I have a better flow of uh, ores coming in and then uh, we've got the, the storage compartment done for the finished products and we don't have anything in there yet well that's because uh, we've been using them quite a bit and it's they're being stored here currently in the uh, assemblers inventory but once they have more than enough in here uh, and it exceeds their uh, inventory it'll push over to the cargo bay over there uh, and then I started getting the uh, conveyor system set put in. Uh, it's going to come out of the uh, cargo bin over there of all the finished products. And it's going to come in over here. And I'll be able to change this and add this in different directions. But uh, to begin with, I want to get it over here to where I have our drone uh, platform set up. So this is going to be a drone platform. Uh, I still have to build this out. Uh, the other thing I did was I got rid of those uh, shrubs. Now on those shrubs, the only way you can get rid of those is to go into creative and use voxel hands, which is a little disappointing. You would think that uh, Keen would come up with a better way of doing that after all these years, but that is the only way that I found that you can get rid of those uh, shrubs. Otherwise, they're gonna be just hanging in the air. Trees, on the other hand, you can run into them or you can take the drill or grinder to them and then they'll go away, so. Uh, well, that's getting started. So what I wanted to do today was try to get this uh, drill or this drone platform done and built out and which also includes having the uh, conduit system running over here and into the platform. Now I currently have this platform tied in over here uh, so that it stays connected because I am going to have to break it to run that conduit through right here. So uh, yeah, so we're going to keep it uh, uh, put together. So that's what I'm going to be working on together. I want to get that conveyor system finished and over and in and I want to try to get the drone platform completed today because uh, that is going to be an important key factor in getting our raw materials in. And I've been working on getting some drones set up so uh, but we should be able to uh, See there's the silver field, that's close enough. The drones that I have and with the automated process, it's gonna be a little slow, but I think uh, they'll still work for what we need, so. All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and get started here, and I'll uh, be back with you here in a bit. Well, I thought I would uh, check back in with you here. It's a little sooner than what I was uh, anticipating. Uh, so, but I do have uh, some enemy signals coming overhead and I'm gonna see if those drone escorts are gonna break off. And if they do, we're gonna see if our turret protection system is in place. Matter of fact, I need to make sure that uh, the turrets over here, make sure this guy is turned on. 
I don't think they will. Uh, actually, let's go up here. Let's uh, turn that on. So they are right directly overhead. Now, I didn't think I was all that close when the turrets or when those drones broke off and uh, attacked me on my way back. So let's, uh, let's just see here. No, we're good. All right. Well, it's not going to hurt to leave that turret on up over there anyway. So I just wanted to just bring you in on the action in case there was some action going on here. Uh, but all's good. As you can see, I'm working on uh, getting uh, the pipeline in. And so I'll continue to work on that. Let's uh, see how much here. I need to get a few more parts. Uh... Okay, well, uh, I'll check back in with you here in a little bit. All right, well, let's see what we've got done here. So, I've, uh, this is just a uh, place where I could grab uh, parts from. And I did get the pipeline completed all the way over to uh, here. And so what I've got it, I've got it all laid out. Uh, I actually have my pipeline that will come from my drones uh, tied in over to the uh, cargo container, which uh, is kind of the staging area for uh, any of the ores. So when it, if it starts to get backed up, uh, it can sit and load up into there as it's getting ready to process over in the refinery. Uh, so that's coming in. That's the raw ores coming in. And this is the uh, final materials that'll be coming out through here. And I still have to get that laid out uh, on where I am going to place my uh, conveyor coming in to the, the hangar up here for the drone hangar where I'll have the uh, printer uh, that will, uh, the welders that will weld my uh, drones or, or build them. Uh, I've got the supports all in down below. Uh, I just got to build, well, the supports I'm going to leave as is. I think that looks pretty good, actually. So I could just, uh, uh, you know weld them all up but I think uh, this looks a little bit better so I've got the supports in under the drone facility uh, these are where the ores will come in these are uh, sorters so that uh, the ores will come in and I can set them up to drain all so as soon as the drone comes in the ores will get sucked out and then the uh, drone can then uh, uh, head out on its merry way back to go get more ores. And so I got four of those uh, set up. Uh, we'll go up above now to kind of see what I've got going up there. So I got a stairs coming into the, uh, the drone facility. And so this is going to be open out on this side. Uh, the hangar will be built uh, in through here, and this is going to be a, an enclosed building. So probably I'll have some windows and stuff along here. I've kind of got to design that. I've got an idea on how I want to uh, build my hangar. And so it's going to have a little bit of angle. It's not going to just be a square looking building. Uh, and then... Uh, those beams will come across the 3D printer, 3D printer. The uh, drone printer is going to be built somewhere along this edge right here where it can uh, build the drones 
and then have them ready to come out. Uh, this way, if if for some reason I lose a drone somewhere off, it uh, runs out of fuel or power, uh, it gets shot down, uh, it can uh, uh, I could replace it pretty easily. Uh, so that is where I'm currently at right at the moment. Uh, it's coming along. I'm going to have a lot of welding to do. And so I will start start getting started on that. Uh, but I also wanted to kind of give you an update on where I'm at so you can kind of see the progress that I'm making here. So I think with that, I will uh, uh go ahead and start building some more and then I'll catch back up with you here with a further update. Well, I uh, have gained a little bit here. I've uh, got this calculated out. I did have, I was off by one block along the edge so I had to uh, add these. I had to move my pipeline over a little bit change my supports underneath but we've got a sandstorm blowing in so I wanted to give you an update before it got too bad around here uh, but I think this is what my hangar is going to look like uh, hopefully the colors once we get them all uh, welded up that they'll look pretty good coming across <clears throat> I've got uh, these supports here and I'm debating on, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm going to need, I can't put supports here where I like what I've got down below. So <clears throat> I'll probably just leave this area open. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, I'll have uh, support structures coming up along the edge here. Uh, they may not be rounded uh, because this is going to be a wall down here. So this, this whole wall through here will uh, actually serve as the support coming up. Uh, <clears throat> and then I might run some beams along, the, uh, along from each of these over to the edge over here just to give it the impression of, of more support. Uh, so I think from a distance this is going to look pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it looks once I get it all welded up. <clears throat> And I'm certainly going to have a lot of welding to do. But I just wanted to give you an update since we've got a sandstorm blowing in. And uh, before it got uh, too bad around here. Alright, well, I'll uh, catch back up with you when I'm a little farther along. Well, I think I am making progress here. I, I changed my mind a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take these pillars out and as you can see I'm putting in a uh, what would appear to be more of a structural frame for the building and I think that looks pretty good and I think the uh, gray uh, frame with the uh, light blue teal color uh, building uh, I think uh, I think that's going to look pretty good this side will probably have uh, this will be walls and windows uh, I haven't exactly decided how that how I'm gonna put that in and then I've got to kind of rework my stairs a little bit coming in here uh, this is actually I put this in just so I could uh, finish uh, building this out uh, so that I could get to all of this side over here so I've got to kind of see how these stairs are going to look. Uh, I kind of like the idea of coming in and then making a turn up and into here. So I just kind of got to build that out. Uh, I need to get some more steel so that's what I'm coming down to. But when you look at the building from over here, I, I like it. It looks like a pretty nice structure going in. And I'll have to get up in the roof. As you can see, I don't have all of that done. So those will all be filled in. So that'll be a nice uh, angle coming up. It's uh, not uh, just a square building. But I think it is going to look pretty good. Uh, because 
It is. It's it's a big factory. It's going to be a drone factory. Uh, and so that's where I'm going to build all my small ships. So not just a drone factory, but a small ship factory as well. So I should have plenty of room to build them and then be able to fly them out. Uh, they'll fly out that other end up there. Uh, let me go over here and grab some more steel. And... Uh, go and uh, again I think it's gonna look pretty good this is what I've been having to put the scaffolding in and take it out uh, so let's uh, let's take this out and throw some scaffolding down here Uh, let's see, let's put it in right, start, oh, right about here. I think that will do it. And let's see. Before I get too committed here. Four, one, two, three. Should be this one right here. Four in between. One, two, three, four. And then we'll throw a... Throw this block down. This is just going to give you a feel for what, what I'm doing. What I have to do to build this thing out. Uh... Come over here, and let's uh, put a couple more blocks out over this way. Uh, and I should be able to then put a. And if we do this, if we come all the way down here. there and put that there. We should be able to reach all of this now. Okay. And so I need to put a... Put this... Oh, come on, turn around, get the right... I can never get the right buttons. Put that there. And then a half block. Right there. And then another... Come on, come on, there you go. Right there. And then... It'll be a full block. Uh, that's five, that will go in right there. And I did it. Did I do that right? No, I did not. That was supposed to be a full block. Now let's try it again. A full block. There we go. And we got to go back over to this block. And let's turn that around there. And then we're going to go with half blocks. There we go, put those in right across there. And then this should be a... Uh, where are you getting one of these? Goes in there. A half block here, and then another 
one of these blocks in right here. And then we can uh, hop down below and put a half block in right there. Anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of what, what I'm doing, how I'm having to build this out, a little bit of the, the build process here. Uh, let's weld some of this up, use up all of our blocks. And there's the transport courier. All right, let's uh, come around here. Let's get back up here. Yeah, there's the courier. All right. I know I'm probably going to be running out of steel here pretty quick here. Okay, there we go. Don't fall off. No, don't want any industrial accidents. There we go. Oh, one plate short. Well, you know what? I can get that one plate. Let's see if I can reach it. There we go, finished, all right. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let me get the scaffolding out of here. We can take a look at it again. And... And I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I think that's going to look pretty good. It looks like it, you know, gives structure. We'll have another beam coming in here, coming across. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just got to get it all built out. All right, well, I'm going to keep building away, and I will uh, catch back. Low. Oh, see, I have to go get uh, more energy anyway. Anyway, I'll just keep building away and uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Well, I am uh, ever so slowly making some progress here. Uh, I am just about out of energy. I need to go get that. And uh, I should have done that before I started getting back on here, but I'll make it quick. Uh, I'll grab some more steel. And then we'll probably just about wrap this video up. Not going to quite get the drone facility done uh, steel do I not have any did I run out of oh I must have run out of iron over here all right let me see something here yeah I did okay that's fine uh, my other my base is uh, producing uh, steel for me so I'll have to remember to grab some iron and bring it back over into here. So, looking at it from this direction, you can kind of see what all I have uh, gotten, how it looks. Uh, the sun's on kind of on the wrong side right at the moment, but uh, we can look at it from uh, the other side. All right. Uh, So, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. I got the uh, sides done. Uh, we can take a look at it from over here. You can kind of see how it looks from out over here. And uh, from this angle. I think it's looking pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with what I've gotten and the design of it at this point. Uh, I wasn't kind of sure on the angles in the beginning I had to kind of do a couple of things on there so I still got the floor to do and we'll go and uh, put uh, I wanted to see if I could get all the way across here and 
And let's start start going across here. But you can kind of see this is what it looks like up top and what it uh, take to uh, get this done. One thing nice about the angles, it uh, allows me to walk up and you can kind of see from up above up here. So pretty pretty nice view. I may ultimately put have to put uh, uh, guns up here, but for right now, I'm uh, I'm not planning on it. All right, let's kind of go down below down here, and we'll finish uh, finish up this steel. Oh, just ran out right there. Uh, so I got the stairs in. I got this window in, and uh, I'm not sure. I uh, well, I know I'm going to have to put lighting in. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. If I'm going to just put lighting in the beams, or if I'm going to put lighting along the edges, uh, I'll have to probably. That'll probably be something I'll do in the next episode. And then I sure would like to kind of leave this open as much as possible. So I'm certainly going to have some windows in here uh, so that we can see out. But I think the plan is, and I'll probably put the printer in right here, kind of right in here. And the projector will come over on this end. And so the projector will be here. Uh, and then the printer will print out the drone ship and the small ships and then I should have room to be able to fly them out now I'm not sure if I'm going to put hangar doors in here but for right now I'm going to leave this open and I might have a few more touches to go into here I might uh, uh, might end up putting something in across the hallways there to uh, kind of fill that in and then maybe kind of fill this in a little bit and then maybe put some windows in here or something like that so that's that's what I still have to uh, kind of figure out but so far I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the uh, drone hangar is uh, starting to turn out well I think that is just about going to wrap up the video for today uh, I've put actually quite a few hours into it even though I only got like a 30 minute video uh, it's taken me about three hours to get to this point doing all the building and stuff like that maybe a little more all right well all you space engineers out there if you like this video please hit that thumbs up it really helps out the video and please subscribe that really helps the channel out a lot and uh, all right space engineers keep building away out there and uh, keep your heads low and don't get shot and with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.